Hai Assalamualaikum Interview buat Alia Batricia. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ati Rafan, and with me today is a member of um, JPP of College Medical College in uh, Negeri Sembilan. So, um, would you care to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Nur Alia Batricia Mirasman, and I'm one of the member of JPP. So today I'm going to ask you five question relating to JPP but before that maybe some of us um, don't know what is JPP so you get to explain about it what is JPP okay JPP is short term of jawatan kuasa perwakilan pelajar hmm. and we manage we our tugas is for menjaga kebajikan pelajar and to create a new surrounding hmm. and also to lead them to become and to have a happy life in college hmm. see uh, at school we have a prefect but right now at college we have JPP but as I've um, informed that uh, prefect at school is more to um, discipline Very but uh, JPP at college is more like managing the students yeah, right, like that all right so Without wasting our time, we're moving to our five question. So the first question is Question 1 There must be a lot of challenges to become a JPP. How did you manage to face that problem? Okay, there is actually a lot of challenges becoming a JPP but most commonly is to what people say that manage in studies, in responsibilities, in to lead and some of the parents or some of the lecturers or students itself didn't understand the responsibilities that we held so it's quite a big challenges um if something happens such as lockdown like yeah. uh before right uh we managed to get no no we actually get something that been hated or <laughs> something like that yeah. right? but we managed to get out of, of it mm. and because it was not our fault it was higher ups like KKM yes. when your decisions right yes, yes. Mm, that's that's the challenge well. so yeah it is not easy to manage a student especially when they have a tough decision to make yeah. and the student will blame the JPP yes. but you guys have to know there is other um, organization that responsible for every decision which um, yeah, to make the decision. Yeah. So, okay, let's move to question number two. Question two. When we heard about JPP, we understood that you have to shoulder so many responsibilities. So, I want to ask you, what part of work as a JPP that you enjoy the most? Um, for me, part of the JPP that I love the most, enjoy the most is get to know each other's new people new person like a new type of experience even though it's just like uh not as small as what people say at uh school right yeah and not besar sangat like uh university or something like that yes. but getting to know new people uh new experience and new type of what people say to get along together with them it's a very very loving and happy experience for me there you go uh, Alia said uh, to meet new people you will have a new experience to explore so yeah it's a good thing to become a JPP very very good thing so uh, question number three question three as a JPP yourself could you share the changes that you have made it could be towards the surrounding or the student themselves um, it's not that I made change to this college or this surrounding or student itself, but we, our organization, which is JPP, made the changes all together. Mm. Um, 
such as something like uh, before before this i don't know but before this um we managed to get a lot of programs a lot of what we were a lot of people come and give talk or yeah. make something change about this college and especially our mentality towards something that is new that is like uh rasa luar from yeah. us yeah i think it's the big progress lah for JPP that changed our school. So JPP will work together and not as even even the In individually. Yes. Yeah, they work together to f- solve any problem yes, and work together. Yeah. Wow, okay. So we move on to question number 4. Question 4. Which is what made you confident to apply and become a JPP? Um for me, I am not some one that very confident yeah. like everything i do i will like okay i can do it <laughs> no but i try to challenge myself okay even if i can become a head prefect at sekolah menengah and so that, that i think i can become someone that can lead because i like to lead i like to need know a lot of people and i like to make programs to make a better change so i challenge myself I th- I think I can do this even though I failed but it's okay I've been challenging myself and I will not give up or feel feel sad rather than I didn't try to yes, do definitely. new things right uh, that's uh, see I see so you want to challenge yourself yeah. and yeah you eventually when you challenge yourself you will take another step of your own self which make better of yourself so okay so we reach Um the final question already so so quick question 5 So this is in your opinion what are the characteristic of a good JPP if you were to choose the new set of people what characteristic what traits will you looking for for the new JPP that you want to select Um for me it's very important to have a very res- responsible person because and because our gpp is like some sort of things that new things that we need to handle and everything but if we want to make a program and there's no one responsible to it and we will we will make that change right mm-hmm. so i re- we really need a responsible person someone that we can trust yes. someone that uh, very passionate in doing their things yes and also someone that have a good discipline and good manners also a good mind yes that's I very see. important so responsibilities um good manners, good manners discipline, discipline discipline good personality good personalities yeah. and yeah and i think you have to be creative to to become yes, a jpp true. and of course to win a uh, trust of your friend to vote you yeah. is not easy so you have to be outstanding so There you go. Five question have been answered. And yeah, uh, I think for for everyone that have listened to this uh or looking oh <laughs> so everyone that have um see this video, you might learn uh a few thing, a bit few thing about JPP, how to become JPP, what traits that you need to sharpen for yourself. And I would like to thank you Alia Batisha for joining and help us on this thing because yeah maybe you have something to do but you you would help us and join us today so thank you very much for that okay so i guess that is all um, thank you for watching and listening goodbye interview to Sir Asha Asrul Okay, Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Fatah bin Mazali. Joining me is our chemistry lecturer, Sir Astrol. Okay, first of all, can you introduce yourself first? Introduce yourself. Yeah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, as you know, my name is uh, Ashar Astrol. Okay, you can call me Sir Astrol lah. Okay, okay. Um, uh, This I'm, is not live, right? No, 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 sir. 
This is uh, record, recorded. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you uh, five questions uh, about your journey in becoming a chemistry lecturer. Question one. Okay. Uh, first question. Why did you choose to be a chemistry lecturer? Uh, is it because that you have high interest about the subject since high school, or do you have any other reasons? Okay. Uh, actually, uh, that is a uh, quite complicated uh, question. Okay, um, uh, when you ask me, is it uh, why I uh, choose to be a chemistry lecturer? Okay, uh, the simple answer is uh, I have no choice. Uh, I have no choice. And the next question you ask me, is it because you have high interest? And the answer is no. Actually, chemistry is not my favorite subject in school. Okay, I hate chemistry actually. Okay, and then you ask me, or oh, do you have any other reason? Of course, I have uh, another reason lah. Why, uh, why I am who I am today lah. Man. All right. So it is um, uh, a long uh, journey before. Um, I uh, become a chemistry lecturer lah. Okay, so I will, uh, okay, I will uh, tell you, okay, I will tell you later on lah. Okay, so now we uh, proceed to next question. Question two. Okay, um, if you got any chance to change your career, what it will, will be? Okay, uh, actually, okay, I want to be. Mm, as somebody else lah, not not a uh, chemistry lecturer. Actually, I want to I want to be uh, a celebrity. You know. Wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> but uh, I'm not fulfill the requirement. Uh, so uh, just forget it. Then back to uh, uh, my occupation now lah. Okay. Uh, next question is. Question three. Um, how long that you have been teaching here in KMNS? And among that time, what is your worst and your best experience teaching in KMNS? Okay. Uh, I like your question. Uh, because uh, you asked me many things in one question. Okay. Uh, so, firstly, um, how long? Eh? So, um, I've been teaching chemistry uh since 2003 march 2003 now uh january 2022 uh 2022 right so uh, almost 19 years lah okay since uh before you were born actually okay how old are you now i'm eight, 19 this year 19 this year right uh, so i uh, i'm here almost 19 years Okay. Uh, uh, so the next question is Question 4 What is your ah, best experience? Yeah. The uh, the uh, What we call the The best uh, moment right? Uh, the best uh, moment the, you, uh, you ever had in KMNS uh, the, the best and the worst experience right? So the best eh? uh, The best moment is When you get paid lah. Okay. <laughs> the, of course uh, the, the the pay day hari gaji yeah the pay day okay uh, just kidding eh just kidding <laughs> emotional damage uh, actually uh, the best uh, moment eh when when I heard uh, a good news from my ex student lah so actually I believe eh uh, one day uh, they will become a somebody okay so uh, a a good uh, I mean, the best moment is when a teacher heard that uh, students okay, will uh, achieve um, successful in life. Okay, uh, as today you are my student, you are, you are nothing, eh? you are zero. Okay, one day you who know you become a hero, eh? uh, and then uh, you tell me uh, that uh, you got. Um, job okay uh, good job okay good salary uh, you have a, 
Uh, nice life. Yeah, uh, the nice life, kan? Uh, beautiful life. So that actually that is the 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 best uh, moment for a teacher, any teacher. Okay, not in, uh, not only me. Okay, and the uh, worst experience, right? The worst experience actually is uh, I I uh, I have no actually the worst experience. Okay, but the embarrassing embarrassing moment ada lah. Okay, uh. the embarrassing moment is uh, I still remember. Uh, the first day um, I uh, I came okay yeah. the first day that I uh, report to work here okay and and the same day I been asked to go uh, to the lecture hall okay you know without a proper preparation okay we <laughs> without uh, what we call it uh, prepare okay then you are required Okay, uh, you have been told by your boss, okay, to go to the lecture hall over there. Okay, you can see <laughs> that. Okay, and to deliver a lecture. Ah, uh, to uh, to deliver a lecture. Okay, so can can you imagine that? Because it's the first time. Ah, uh, first time. Eh? the first day. You uh, the first day. Uh, you uh, you got the job. Then you have to uh, perform. Okay, you have to deliver. Uh, the subject so oh, I think that day is uh, quite uh, quite terrifying uh, yes okay shaking you know all the time you in front of the uh, 200 students right uh, you are in front of 200 um, of, uh, more than 200 students okay you um, uh, hold a marker pen and you write uh, on the whiteboard Okay, the student can see my shaking hand. Ah. Okay, shaky hand. That uh, wrote uh, something on the right board. So that is the the most embarrassing moment that I have had. I, uh, I see. Uh, okay. Uh. Question five. Next question is: um, In this COVID time, um, as a lecturer, did you prefer teaching online or face to face? What is uh, what is the reason of your for your answer? Oh, okay. So this is very easy question lah. Okay, if you ask me uh, which uh, approach, uh, which um, way, uh, style of teaching that I prefer, I prefer face to face lah. Okay, because I love to, uh, I love to see uh, my student lah. Okay, uh, when uh, we um, uh, we have a face to face session, so. I um, I will know um, um, I will know uh, whether my students, students get character uh, can uh, accept uh, can uh, understand or not what I'm trying to teach them. Okay, rather than uh, uh, online session. So when an online session, okay, even though you can see um, your student, okay are present there okay but when you ask something sometimes uh, most of the time uh, i got no response <laughs> sorry 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 so i don't know whether it is because of the line uh, because of the coverage or because of uh because they don't, they don't know anything are, uh, uh, because only names uh there okay uh, the person is not there okay uh, you never know you never can so that's why I prefer face to face. Okay, um. Question again. Which time do you get most uh, the most busy during online or face to face? Okay, actually, uh, uh, people expect that when uh, we on a uh, online session or we call it PDPR session, and teacher got more time to rest, right? But that is totally, totally wrong, eh? wrong okay, okay. Uh, when um, during the uh, what we call it PKP last time eh? when we have to work from home eh? and we on a uh, online session uh, actually there are more more, more work uh, to be done okay rather than uh, I'm here face to face so when you are uh, when you attend to office, when you come to work, 
Okay, we, we are present in the uh, station. Okay, uh, actually, um, to get more busy. No, no, no. Less busy than the <laughs> online. When you are at home, actually, you are more busy. Uh, because all everything need to be done uh, within the short the, the, the short time. Uh, okay. Last question. Okay, uh, last but not least, um, did you ever cross your mind to uh, retire in a year of two? Actually, uh, that is the uh, uh, the good question, uh, Okay. Um, as I told you, I uh, I've been here almost uh, twenty nineteen years. Uh, nineteen years, eh? Okay, nineteen years means that. Uh, if I'm retired uh, at 60, means I got another half uh, way journey okay, to reach there. It is long journey. Uh, long, yeah. uh, another another one uh, cycle. Uh, so I means um, let's say uh, 20 years now, then um, uh, I need uh, to wait an another 20 years before I get pension. Okay. Uh, so means um, if, if you ask me whether I, uh, I, I want to uh, retire yes uh, the answer is yes okay the answer is yes uh, if I could I want to uh, retire uh, earlier than uh, expected okay because uh, nowadays, eh, nowadays you know um, uh, the what we call it um, the struggle to the, become a teacher yeah, is different yeah, yeah, yeah. from back then and now. Yes, uh, we are more struggling nowadays compared to before the phone. Uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, that's all. That is all. Uh, question for today, sir. Uh, thank you for joining uh, me today. Uh, until we meet again. Okay, welcome. Okay, thank you guys uh, for the interview. Okay, bye. bye.